I was on the freeway at 3 o'clock in the morning taking Paula to the airport Saturday morning and the interchange from the 15 to the 91 was closed which is okay middle of the night not a lot of people there but what I found out was that their detour signs were non-existent in two spots and so I relayed that to RCTC but most of us are not out driving at 3 in the morning unless we're on the way to cars and coffee at <laughs> 5 in the morning um, and get lost uh, but if anybody is out there and experiences any of those issues, rather than just getting frustrated, please let one of us know, primarily Miss Beagle, but no, seriously, you can let any of us know. <laughs> but seriously, we need to know if there's a problem out there, um, the RCTC is relying on the contractor to do these detours and do them right. And they're paying good money to do that. So if something is not properly signed, not properly done, please let us know because we need to let them know. We can't just think that everything is being done right because I can tell you last Saturday morning it was not being done right. So we need to make sure that people do know that when it comes up. Uh, and lastly, um, because we don't have the opportunity to all sit down together, we did have a meeting this morning with Edison about a new substation coming forward. It was not a very pleasant meeting. Um, we've asked them to come forward, but just in case anybody has any uh, buddy approach them, uh, there's a new substation they're proposing, uh, old Temescal, Magnolia, uh, the old San Valle tile plant, if anybody knows. Um, they had planned on putting it there a number of years ago. They dropped the plans. Uh, we asked them to work with the uh, brand new buildings across the street at the time and then they met with the developer said no we're not going to do it now those brand new buildings are built and they want to put huge metal power poles right in front of these buildings that we gave them the opportunity to underground and do everything else with the more disturbing part is Miss Spiegel is so you know and you could hopefully get RCTC to talk to them as well the lines come down 6th Street go around Grand go under the freeway and they are planning on undergrounding them under the freeway and they're not planning on doing the construction for two and a half more years so they will not do the construction but they will tear up all of Grand all of Joy and all that area down there right after the freeway construction is done we've asked them if they would go ahead and put the conduit under the ground now and they said no then they said well maybe we'll come back again so you might want to take that back to RCTC to have them talk to Edison because our residents will go well, I, I can't even say the words if we I mean it's nothing more frustrating than having a brand new road and then have them come on and tear it up and they did that on 6th Street after we repaved 6th Street and I don't want to see that happen ever again we've asked them and that's just ridiculous so if anybody has opportunities to interface with Edison we need who, to make who sure are you talking to with Edison on that uh, a project Adri manager and Adriana Adriana and was involved yeah okay thank you they're planning on actually having public meetings in September and we suggested they don't we don't know whether they're still going to have these public meetings or not in the Arborddale area and we said it would be best if we all came to terms of what was agreeable first before they had the meetings so we don't know what they're going to do so it's unfortunate um, that they want to move forward I mean it's okay to move forward we need power uh, wouldn't have the air conditioning in here without the power but at the same time for them to want to tear up the streets after the construction of the 91 freeway gets complete is just ridiculous so so on that happy note if no one has anything else we'll adjourn the